Hi, this is Bill. Today I want to show you four different tools that you may not know about in Adobe Reader 10. So I have a document, a PDF document, right here on my desktop. I'm just going to open that up. And this document I've downloaded from the internet. So this is the Mission and Vision Learning Principles for the Parkway School District. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a sticky note, basically a post-it note, on top of this PDF. Now I'm not going to change the PDF, but I am going to be able to mark it up and add my own note to this PDF that I can then save and send out to whoever I need to send it out to. So the sticky note tool is right up at the top. It looks like a little call out bubble or a text bubble from a cartoon. And I'm just going to click on that. As you can see, my cursor changes into that icon. And then I can put that sticky note right on top of my PDF wherever I want to. So I'm going to put it right here behind the mission. And it's going to pop up a little sticky note. Now I can say right here, this is a very important point. Okay. Now this is my note that I am putting on just like a post-it note. I can also change right here, it says TIS. I can change that clicking on the arrow and going to properties. And instead of TIS under the general tab, I can change it to have my name show up right there. Okay. Now, when I close this, my little bubble is still here. I can click on it and it pops up or I can just hover over it and it will show the text that's attached to that. So that's one way that you can mark up a document without changing the actual document itself. And then you can email, save this and email it to somebody to collaborate in that way. So that's one way. The next way is using the highlighter tool. That's also right up here at the top. It says highlight text when you hover over it. So I'm going to click on that. And instead of going up here to the mission, I'm going to come down here to the vision. And I'm just going to highlight these two points. Okay, I think these are really important. As soon as I unclick, those change to yellow. They, it highlights those two rows. Now both of those things are not part of the document, they are extra add-ons on that document. What's really nice here is that especially when you have a longer document, right up here there's a comment button. By clicking on the comment button, it's going to pull up every single comment or every single markup that is left here. So you can see that I have one sticky note and I have one piece of highlighted text. Now if I had more, it's going to go down and it's going to highlight again the information that is marked up on that page. So that's kind of a nice feature just to be able to annotate a PDF. Um, a lot of times we see PDFs as locked documents. Well, this kind of opens that up a little bit. The next tool that I want to show you is sometimes you have a PDF such as this one that has lots of text and things on it, but you need that text in a different version where you can maybe copy and paste it into other things. Now, under the File menu, move this over just a little bit, under the File menu, you will see, under Save As, the ability to save this as a text document. So if I just do Save As, click on Text, and I'm just going to put this on my desktop, you can see that this is a text file, TXT file. That's going to save that document. Here it is. When I open it up, it has stripped out all of the formatting, all of the pictures, all of that stuff, anything that is not text. So now I have this as a text document that really I can, I can work with in a little bit different way. So that's kind of nice. It's kind of another nice feature inside of Adobe PDF uh, version 10. The last thing that I want to tell you about is called Read Aloud. Now what that's going to do is it's actually going to read the text on this document out loud as an audio file. Under View, come down to Read Out Loud, and first of all you have to activate Read Out Loud. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that. Now when I go back to View Read Out Loud, I have the option to read this page or read to the end of the document. Now if I select that, it's going to start actually reading this document to me through the speakers doing a speech to text conversion. Okay. The read aloud can kind of be a nice feature to 
differentiate for different kids. So I hope that helps. There are four tools, the sticky note tool, the highlight tool, save as text, and then the read aloud. If you have any questions, please let me know.